How the heck are you folks? I'm Fastidious. We've got some news in the game. And I had just signed off for the day. I was finally AFK. Cue the Godfather 3 clip. Just when I thought I was out, they pulled me back in. Couldn't be more accurate. I finished a stream, I finished my two videos for the day, but this is out, so we gotta deliver. Um, they released it on Discord, which has been annoying to me. I had to zoom in, as you guys can see. Hopefully you can read everything all right. Without further ado, next patch preview. I think this is my first official patch that has come into the game since I started playing about a month ago now. Uh, Commanders, mark your calendars for the upcoming patch on August 15th, 2020. What? August 15th, 2023, this is a mistake. They must mean to September. Good job, game, keep it up. Here's a thrilling sneak peek of what's in store for you. New stages, campaign chapter nine. We know this could not have happened August 15th because that was over, that was nearly three weeks ago and we do not have a chapter nine, okay. Uh, chapter nine, the White Tower, prepare yourself for the exciting challenge of new monsters, new mechanics, and a powerful new boss. That's very exciting for me uh, because the fact that we started with eight chapters, now they're adding chapter nine, makes me think maybe in a month or two it's chapter 10, and so on and so on. And I like the idea of a game staying alive and well. In some games you have your campaign, and that's the campaign, and the campaign's just to farm, or just to do something else, maybe get a couple pieces of gear. I like that the campaign is gonna stay alive and actually serve to be a campaign that tells a story. I don't like that it says August 15th, uh, 2023. Uh, what, what's going on here? It is currently September 3rd. That's like, what a crazy oversight. This is, that's a video for another day. Chapter eight, the spectral rift. Okay, so they're adding a new spectral rift into chapter eight. Uh, chapter eight brings eight exciting new, uh, new stages to the to campaign. So we already had 14 in chapter eight, I believe. So now we're getting a bonus eight in the spectral rift. Um, simply tap on the spectral rift on the map to enter, clear them perfectly to earn rewards like rare summoning crystals. So those are the blue crystals, your basic crystals. You can see it's gonna look like this. It's a bit hard to see, but that glowing blue thing. Um, I wish I knew off the top of my head. I know we got them two times already. I wanna say there was one at chapter seven for sure. And then I wanna say chapter three or four we had one. So maybe we'll slowly get those in each chapter over time. Just a nice way to pick up a couple of extra rewards. We're getting new faction trials. So if you guys haven't noticed, uh, we have many more factions than we do available faction trials in the game. So just looking at this, this looks like Infernal and Esotericist. So gearing up, gear up for the upcoming trial of the Infernal and trial of the Esotericist. Okay, cool, I was correct. By completing these trials, you can earn rewards such as Shelter Insight 3. So those are the those are the purple uh, insights, the things you use uh, with uh, Hyperion, the dragon. Um, in, oh my God, what do they call that thing? Let me pull up the game really fast. Um, in the Pantheon, excuse me guys. My brain just turned off for a second. Um, and yeah, so up to three, it's gonna be the same thing. You get the green ones, you get the blue ones, you get the purple ones. Uh, so cool, I guess more opportunities to use more of your heroes and there's more content to progress in. Next, we have new exclusive artifacts. Okay, that's awesome. Uh, the more artifacts, the better. Uh, looks like uh, they can only be obtained successfully by clearing Void Rift Nightmare. So I'm guessing these are gonna be very, very powerful. So reward preview. I mean, I can read all the names, but you can kind of just see it. Uh, lots of the classic fantasy names you kind of see, where there's a little D&D &D, uh, throw over to Mind Flayer. That's kind of cool. Um, the Euphoric Coronet we can see over there. It's, uh, it's, oh, you know what? I'm seeing it now. It's so zoomed out. I don't know why. That, wait, hold on guys, if we look at that, they, they have a little picture in the corner. So it looks like this is specifically, this uh, Euphoric Coronet is an artifact specific to Leia, or Laia, however you're saying it. This one over here, the Visage of Sorrow, looks like it's just for Ayn. Um, this one here looks like it's for Setrum. It's very hard for me to see. Twin Fiend over here, Eye of Annihilation. The, oh, the Mind Flayer one looks like, looks like it's for Nocturne. I love Nocturne. Okay, so if you didn't need extra motivation, if you needed extra motivation, if you weren't motivated to do uh, Voider of Nightmare, now you have it. Um, it's, it's so hard. Uh, I actually, let me go in the game really fast. You guys won't be able to see this, but am I... Let me go into the uh, Void Rift behind the scenes here. Let's click it. This is our hard Void Rift. If I go there... Okay, Nightmare is the final one. I was like, is it the same where it's like campaign where it goes normal, hard, expert, and now they're adding a fourth difficulty already? Because that would be bonkers, because hard is so hard already. Uh, and I can't imagine how much people are struggling with Nightmare as it is. Uh, but I guess we need the end game content, so that's really exciting. Uh, and it's cool that it's not just uh, role specific, but it's also going to be uh, character specific. So just finishing up here, new event, Wild Sands. This definitely catches my eye. We can see two heroes here that I don't recognize. I'm guessing this is gonna be pretty similar to the Treasures in the Deep event. Uh, that was like the Oceany event that was Captain Reeves and, uh, oh my God, Razak themed, right? Uh, you can also get the Osiren copy. Looks like I'm seeing two more characters I don't know here, so maybe it's featuring another two legendary characters and it's gonna be sand themed. What is cool, I'm seeing two different things we can do. 
Uh, so let's look in here. Trials of Fury, go. Three chances available. So I'm guessing that's like, again, the challenge modes that you can do every day with limited chances, kind of like what we had in Treasures of the Deep. Again, this is all speculation. Uh, and then we've got Odyssey of Dreams, go. So maybe that's like a story mode that you clear, like a one-time clearance for it. I don't know. Let me zoom in here with my eyeballs. Summon Hero, maybe they got a special summoning portal. Again, similar to like what we had with Reeve. Maybe these are limited champions, I'm not sure. There's a Treasure Hunt Celebration. Uh, so we'll be collecting something. There's total sign-in rewards, so that's free as long as you get in there collective stage conquering event so again probably little quests you check off by doing stuff and then there's a redeem shop so this is going to be hopefully a little bit better because i thought uh the, the treasure in the deep event was really fun but it was just kind of like that's it and now farm it for six days after you play it the first day so hopefully this is a bit more interesting uh it says embark on a new adventure by exploring fresh st fresh stages experiencing new features and enjoying bountiful rewards i hope they are bountiful now we've got a quick little recent faqs and i'm assuming this is how it's going to wrap up some heroes are too overpowering in arena while others are too weak well what a what a good point not really a question but a uh, good point uh We'll work on putting more work into optimizing the arena. The counter mechanics against certain heroes will be made stronger so that those heroes will no longer dominate, dominate an arena. That's not true. I don't believe that for one second. Uh, I wonder how much money they made on the Hatset 10X, 2X this weekend. And it's because Hatset's insane in arena, among other things. Like they're not gonna, they have overpowered heroes so people can go chasing them. Uh, what would be great is they just raise the tide a bit, you know, uh, so other people are a bit closer to them, but there's no way they're gonna nerf people like Hatset. There's no way. Uh, more languages should be added to chat channels. We'll just skip over that, but it's cool. I guess shout out to the Philippines. Um, that seems like who really uses the chat channel. If you do use, let me know in the comments. Uh, nothing can be done to players who violate the game in chat. New methods. Okay, great. More about chat. I need more gold. Uh, this is great. We are working on adjusting the drop rates of gold in various modes, including gold raid. Now that is, that's the biggest news of this, this update. Currently you can get, I believe it is 27,000 uh, without the bonus active. So 54,000 with a gold bonus active um, and without special cards and stuff and without Hyperion being leveled up. So that's from one run, which costs 26 energy. It's super expensive. Um, anyone that's been doing Tales of the Smith events recently, recently it is, it, you just get wiped out. I went into this Tales of the Smith with like five and a half million gold. It's all gone now. Um, Alas, Void Rift is too difficult right now for players to cle clear. We'll adjust and optimize the difficulty of Void, of Void Rift in our upcoming patches. Okay, so I'm, I uh, accidentally, anyone that's on stream, I got stuck in hard Void Rift. I didn't know I could, I, I was a normal. I was like, this is really easy. Let's go check hard. And then they were like, all right, you're stuck in hard. You can only switch once. So maybe hard will be doable in a week or two. That's pretty cool. Um, again, we got, we're gonna have to talk about that at the end. Okay, we did circle back, it looks like. Uh, yes, okay, so this is the front. What is going on here? Am I crazy or is this like the oversight of all oversights? Mark your calendars for the upcoming patch on August the 15th, 2023, right? And it can't be written in like the European way or the non-American way because there is no 15 month. So we know this has to be 8-15 meaning August 15. I'm looking at the calendar right now, guys, on my computer. It is currently 9-3, September 3rd. Um, they, they do stuff like this a lot. They do like... You know, there are little mistakes, like there's something in the game where they call Ain, Ain or Ein, they say her when it's a him, uh, whatever, you know, uh, they'll fix that over time, that's semantic. But something like this, it's like you're announcing this big, exciting thing. They even say the highly anticipated September update, and then it says August 15th. Really disappointing. I would say overall, what are we most excited about? Uh, chapter nine sounds really fun. I love these temporary events and I hope they get more and more expansive maps and it gets super hard because uh, this is something that could always scale uh, with end game content and also earlier game content. I really like that. So that's like something Ark Knights did really well. Um, this FAQ kind of boring. The gold thing's pretty exciting. The Voidrift thing's pretty exciting. This thing, very cool, but I think very few of us are actually doing Nightmare uh, Voidrift. And I'm curious to see how overpowered they are, they are, but at least they're not adding a whole new rarity like super mythic or triple S mythic or something. Uh, but yeah, in summation, seems like a pretty cool update. Seems like I'm curious how often these will come because there seems like a lot there's coming into that that we're getting delivered with this one. But boy, oh boy, this August 15th thing has me shaken to my core. Uh, I think that basically covers it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know any questions you might have in the comments. I've been Fastidious. I'll see you in the next one. Fastidious.